Tell me about the Facebook message you received last week. Last week? Yeah. This is recent. Um, so, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no worries. It's okay. My, I got a call from my mom, and she go, said um, that she got a message from Kevin. And I said, Kevin who? And she said, your dad. Mm. So I was like, my dad? Like, <laughs> my entire life, I thought that Jesse was my dad. Yeah. So she told me, you know, I gave him your information. If he wants to reach out, he'll reach out. So I just happened to get a Facebook message from this random page. So I read it. And it was like, hi, baby, I'm your father. Yeah, we and have a screenshot of the DM. Hi, baby, this is your father. I would really love to have a talk with you, and I will call you or do this Facebook when I get home from the doctor about 4 p.m. I mean, it's, it's so informal. It's, it's very like, you know, yeah. which is so interesting. It's not like, hey, yeah. you don't know me. Right. He's like, hey, baby, like, y'all yeah. been talking every day. Right. Wow. So what, do you, what did you think when you read that? Do you think it was a joke, maybe? No, it, I was surprised. Um, it honestly, I felt angry. Yeah. Because I just thought, like, who are you to just up and message me like that? I'm 32 years old. Yeah. Like, really, after so long, you just, and like you said, it's like, we don't talk. I haven't spoken to you. And then you just message me like, we're the best of friends. Yeah. So it kind of honestly really, really, really upset me. Have you heard Kevin's name before? Once. Uh -huh. um, when I was 17 years old, my aunt mentioned him. Mm. Um, she stated that my mom had an envelope with his name where he was um, and all the information. But when I asked my mom, she said she didn't want to talk about it. Got it. So I let it go. Got it. Let it go. Okay. Yeah. Are you upset with your mom? I am. Why? In a way, yes. Because I feel like she should have told me the truth. I feel like my mom is my best friend and we do not sugarcoat anything when it comes to each other. But I honestly feel mixed emotions because I feel like my entire life, you knew how bad I struggled with not knowing who I am for real. You know, not know who is the other half of me? Like, where do I come from? Because Jesse wasn't there. Yes. And I just, I feel like when I came to her at 17, you know, hey, hey, Nikki, this is, I'm trying to protect you. Or this is the reason why I don't want you to be around either one of them. And she didn't do that. And it destroyed me. I felt so worthless. Mm. I felt defeated. Yes. The man that was recently reached out to Nicole on Facebook claiming to be her father is joining us virtually. Um, for the record, Nicole has never met Kevin before in person. Um, so everyone, please welcome Kevin to the show. Um, so Kevin, thank you for being here. How long have you known yep. Nicole was your daughter? Since her mom told me she was pregnant. And so did you meet Nicole as a baby? Yeah, when she's about two weeks old. Wow. Two weeks old. So I got yeah. to ask the, the question. Nicole's mother told you that this is your child. You're saying you saw her at two weeks old. Where have you been for the last 32 years? <laughs> you, my producers tell me that you've actually been paying child support for Nicole. Please explain yeah. that. Did you know this? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Please explain. She's my daughter. So you've been paying child support all of these years to her mother? Other than when I was incarcerated. Wow. So your mother was receiving financial support. Did she I ever did. say anything about that? Never. Oh, OK. Never. Can I, can yeah, I please, Kevin, say, speak. Please, Kevin, speak. Yeah, uh, her mother knew where I was and chose not to tell her. So her, you're saying that her mother knew that you, where you were, but you had no idea where she was. Exactly. Listen, my producer told me that Jesse is very upset backstage, and I want to go back there and talk to him right now. How are you doing? Very good. Nice to meet you, sir. Karamo. Um, so, thank you for coming here today. Mm -hmm. I got to ask you, what is your thoughts about what you just heard? It's all new to me. It's all new to you? Yeah. So you were in prison her life, and so... That's so, part of her young life. Okay, part of her young life. So when did you find out about Kevin? She found out. When she found out a week yeah. ago, you found out as about she him. Told me, she told me. Understand. Um, why haven't you seen her in so and since she was five? I was seen her at eight. I had her at eight. You had her at eight. You did say that. She, she, she don't remember. She don't remember the past five. Okay. Yeah, I had her in 1998. 
And, and for how long did you have custody of her in 1998? How long? Eight months. Eight months. Yeah, I went back to prison. How do you feel about the fact that there's now a man named Kevin that could be her father? I was the only man she was messing with. Oh. But you said, so you thought you were the only man, but now you feel no, like I didn't her. think I was the only man. So you're I saying her mom I knew I wasn't the only man. Mm. I knew I didn't think so. I knew I wasn't the only man. You knew you weren't the only man. Uh huh. Mm. Do you want the DNA truth? Yeah. Do you hope that Nicole's your daughter? I don't know. So you feel a little betrayed right now because yeah. you thought that you had a good relationship. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So do you have a good relationship with her mom? No, not a relationship with her mom. Ten times. Ten and times. That was back in 1992. Wow. 91. Nicole's mom, Gina, is calling into the show to share her thoughts on the situation. She wasn't able to be here. Everyone, please welcome Gina to the show. As far as him paying uh, child support, never happened. I've worked ever since I was 13 years old. I supported nine children on my own. Yeah. Kevin, I see you rolling Kevin, your eyes. You're saying you did pay child support, so you're saying... Yeah, and well, what excuse? I'm not using no excuse. I have no excuse for not being with my daughter. Gina, what was going on in your life when you learned you were pregnant? When, when I was with Kevin, we were in a relationship. We were sleeping together. Calvin was a pimp when I met him. He had several prostitutes working for him, one of which he had six children by. So we were just sleeping together That's from time true. to time. I was very close with his mother. That's not true. I was true. very close with his mother. I was and I was very close with other you. members of his family, his cousin. I, I want to focus again back on Nicole. Because again, it's important yes. for Nicole. So whatever you all right. did in your past, right. I, I understand, understand that it led you all, so but listen. the thing is that it led us here yes. today where Nicole doesn't have answers. Yes. So I'm not here to judge that, your past. I'm not here to yes. judge your past. I'm really not here to judge yes. either. Listen, listen, when, when, listen. When Nicole confronted you years ago, why didn't you tell her the mm -hmm. truth then? Is on my question. Because of this heartbreak she feels right now. The heartbreak I felt my entire life would send anybody over the edge. So, Kevin, your son Julian is here with us today. Everyone, please welcome Julian. So, this could potentially be your brother right here. What are your thoughts on the situation? Whirlwind. Whirlwind. You know, it's, uh, it's tough any way you look at it. Yeah. So, but I mean, the most important thing is for her to find out. Yeah. You know, truth how, is how's missing. Nicole's story similar to your own, my producers are telling me? Nearly identical. I was raised by a family member since I was 18 months old until I left, went to Santa Barbara, and then I transferred colleges to Seattle. Then he reached out. He called me, and I flew down. We sat in his living room. We had about a four or five hour conversation, and our relationship from that point forward was built on that trust. Because at that point, I was like you, I didn't trust any, I trusted that person who raised me yep. mm -hmm. and everybody else, including my siblings, were out. Are you, so you're close with your father now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you, do you believe that Nicole is your sister? You do. Yeah, You believe I do. she's your sister. It's time to unlock the DNA truth. <gasps> This has been 32 you years. You got it. 32 years. Oh, I'm so scared. I know you are. I know you are. We have two envelopes because there's two men in question here. Okay. So I'm going to give you the first envelope that has contains the DNA truth. Okay. This is your truth to open, and I'm here for you. Oh, I'm so scared. It's all right. I'm here. I'm right here. I'm right here. It's me. What does it say? What does it say? It's me. Jesse is not my biological father. Jesse is not your biological no. father. Okay. What did I tell you? Okay. okay. It's all right, Nikki. It's all right. It's all yeah, right. No. Okay. Jesse, oh. get it together, bro. So Come this what it you. is. <laughs> you know what? This may seem harsh, but reading that, in a way, it hurt. But I felt a sense of relief in the moment of me feeling yeah. pain. Yeah. I did. Yeah. And that's what matters. 
That's what matters, your feelings. Yeah. Be honest about your feelings. When I read it, it, it was like, okay, what I've known isn't what I've, you know, what yeah. it is. But in a sense, in the mix of that emotion, in a way, my heart felt more whole. Good. It, now, there will be moments that will pop up that you're going to have to grieve that relationship because you've spent your entire life putting it into a category of how it fits into who you are as a woman and how it fits into the dynamic of your family. So there's going to be moments where it's going to pop up where you, the relief will turn into something else. So be aware of that. But at least you have your truth now. And you're also getting to express your truth. Now we have one other DNA. Oh, yeah, I'm so and nervous. <sighs> Kevin is my biological father. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother. That's your brother. You want to come down here and come meet your sister? Come meet your sister. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> That's your brother that you just hugged. I see also relief. There's relief, you're breathing. What's going through your mind right now? I'm happy. Right. Because I know I, what pops in my head is that memory I had of, that's my aunt. To know that I have brothers and sisters and nieces, nephews, cut, like, we got family, y'all. Mm. Yeah. Oh, my God. You have no idea. Kevin, how do you, Kevin, how do you feel in this moment? Uh. <laughs> You have no idea how, what this means to me. Uh, it, my my head is like ten pounds lighter. I hope we can start from here and build a relationship. That's right. And I got to tell you this too. You have no idea how big your family is. <laughs> He's nodding his head right here. He's like, <laughs> no idea. Yes, I, I, can, gotta, I can say, though. You got about 60 for, or 70 cousins. Right for me, <laughs> this is the closure that I've longed for my entire life. And I feel like I do have a peace of mind. The closeness that I've longed for won't happen overnight. But I feel like I deserve to know you do. who I am now. Yes, you I do. deserve to. I feel like I do need to give him a chance to... to be my dad. If there's any indication from your relationship, from your relationship, it sounds like he's going to step up. Is that what it's been like yes. for you, your experience? It has, but it's, you know, it's twofold. You really have to do it on your time. You have your truth now. So there's no timeline into how you go about accepting Amen. going forward. Amen. <laughs> This kid, big brother, about how? Uh, who's big brother? Are you big brother? Yeah, how old are you? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. It was giving big brother vibes. It was already, it was already giving big brother vibes. I don't know if you felt it. It was already like little yeah. sister. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Yeah. Um, we got a big brother that's gonna guide you, and he couldn't. I couldn't have said it any better. Yeah. Everything he said, I agree with, and um, I'm glad that you have this clarity in your life. You have your truth. I've met many people on the stage, and you deserve this. You deserve this so much. I'm glad you got a big brother who's smart as hell. <laughs> you, got a, you, got a, you got a great family here, you know what I mean? You have a loving mother. You now have a father who wants to do the work to be in your life. Best of luck with everything, all right? Seriously, best of luck. All right, everyone, thank you for being with us. Make sure to come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all.